Welcome back innovators to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's get started. Let's create a new component. Components help us keep things organized. Let's select the top view. Let's create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's select center rectangle and add some dimensions. Finish the sketch, select extrude command and we'll screw this about 20 millimeters. Select the front view, create a sketch, a visible plane. We're going to use two point rectangle starting at the bottom left corner and drag it out and add dimensions. Select the coincident constraint, select the bottom right corner and we're going to constrain this bottom right corner to this point here. We're going to use the three point arc. Select this top left corner and this corner here and dimension is to be about 200 millimeters. Let's create a construction line from the very bottom center point. Make it about 90 millimeters. Turn off construction. Let's add a center point circle in the center and make it 60 millimeters. Finish the sketch. So once again, select the extrude command. Select the corresponding profile. Direction is going to be symmetric. Measurements whole length and distance is going to be 50 millimeters. Make sure it's not set to cut. Let's add some fillets to these two corners here. At the bottom, let's create a sketch. Let's add a slot. To constrain this slot, we're going to use the tangent command. Select any one of these sides and then select the edge. Next, we're going to be using a collinear constraint, selecting this flat edge here and this top edge here. It's fully defined. Let's use extrude command and let's select the outside corners. Let's drag it up and give us some dimensions. We want it to cut inside, so we'll make it negative. And it's set. Let's create a sketch on one of these faces here. And let's finish the sketch. We did that because we're going to be using the sweep command. And in order to use the sweep command, we have to have a profile. So let's use the sweep command. Select these corners here. The path is going to be this edge. Let's create a fillet in the center and make this a full round fillet. your front view selected, create a sketch on the visible plane. We're going to use a two point rectangle. We're going to dimension the top 
to be 30 millimeters. Let's once again add a construction line from the center point to the top and make it about 90 millimeters. We're going to use the midpoint constraint, select the top of the rectangle and the top of the construction line. Fully defined, finish the sketch. Once again, use the extrude command. Direction is going to be symmetric. Distance is going to be all. And it's set. Now let's add the final fillets. Make sure that regular fillet selected. Select this edge and that edge there. Make it about 20 millimeters. Select the plus symbol, which is to add another selection set. We're going to select this edge here, that edge, and the corresponding edges on both sides. We'll make that five millimeters. And your project is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.